I'm Glenn Derry. I am the president of production technology for Acro. My dad was a physical effects uh, guy, so blew cars up and, you know, big steel work and stuff like that. He uh, introduced me to a guy named Stan Winston when I was a teenager, working on puppets, designing control systems for animatronic dinosaurs, making cool things like the little uh, toys and small soldiers, worked on movies like Galaxy Quest. It was a complete blast growing up around these guys because you're, you're working with like what I considered to be the Michelangelo's of the era. These are people who are hand sculpting, drawing, painting, incredibly creative place. Because I had these puppeteering skills, because I had these digital technology skills, I learned to use tools like Maya and Nuke. Through that, I ended up uh, getting to work on a movie called uh, Aviator. We sort of worked out this system where we could virtualize a camera uh, for the previous team. So we, we would make a CG version of the live action uh, miniature shoot we were about to do. Well, that led to a meeting uh, later with James Cameron, where my friend Rob Legato said, hey, we need to build this system for uh, using motion capture like the virtual camera we built. But what if we did the people in suits and recorded them live with a camera? What would that look like? And we just had a few people that were working on it and they didn't know what to call me. The call sheet didn't have a spot for people inventing cool stuff that didn't really exist. So uh, they just had on my badge, the Glenn department. And then as I would bring people in there, the, the department just became the Glenn department until later, it turned into virtual production when we decided to name it. I was working on a movie called Jungle Book um, with John Favreau directing. And uh, John uh, introduced me to uh, Joe and Anthony. Cut to COVID time. I'm sitting at home. I get a call from, from the guys and, and you know they asked me to do some, some work for a while as a consultant. I was kind of playing hard to get. They came back and convinced me to come on board here at the uh, end of uh, 2023. Well, Agbo is unique in that, you know, our creative leadership isn't just Joe and Anthony as monopolistic thinkers. You know, they're they're very collaborative, right? So this is truly a place where I think best idea wins. And that's unique. I've been in the industry a very long time. For me, the people you work with become your family after a certain amount of time. That's just the way it goes. I think I'm very fortunate in that because I have the long history of, you know, working on live action sets, being an executive at the background of these places, owning my own company, and also just as a generalized team builder, whether as the company owner or part and parcel to a larger production that has to, has to get off the ground. I try really hard to, you know, make people feel like they matter and 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 have people want to give their best around and again it's very easy to do in a place like agbo where you're just surrounded with super bright and uh very energetic individuals it's just really cool to have something in your life that brings you that much fun that you get to do every single day i think it's rad there's nothing in this industry that is outside of reach for anybody at this point and i think you know we're building a, a really sharp group here we're doing some pretty 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 amazing things